New developments tonight as Southeast Texas shrimpers fight to protect their livelihoods. They're upset about something called shrimp dumping. That involves dumping imported shrimp into the American market. And now the U.S. International Trade Commission wants the shrimpers to fill out questionnaires to document their struggles. The U.S. Department of Commerce and the International Trade Commission started investigating after a petition was filed last year. Yeah, now they're in Southeast Texas offering solutions to our shrimpers. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote was at the Port Arthur Shrimpers Association meeting today. And Kayla, what's being done to offer a solution? Brenda Jordan, the meeting at the International Seafarer Center in Port Arthur today was packed, filled with dozens of shrimpers eager to learn about what is happening with their fight against foreign shrimp import dumping. I lived my whole life in Port Arthur. Uh, my uncles, my fathers, um, uh, great uncles, uh, my whole family, we've always been in the, uh, the shrimping industry. For the Han brothers of Port Arthur, shrimping has fed their families for decades. But lately, the future has looked dim. It's pretty tough. Uh, we're actually digging ourselves out of a hole right now as we speak. Uh, we didn't see any profitabilities um, for the last maybe year and a half. Fishermen listened to the legislative updates, a petition they submitted last year to the U.S. Department of Commerce and the International Trade Commission about shrimp dumping is being investigated. And, and that's the reason why I came in today is is to see if there's going to be any, any progress. The progress comes in the form of a questionnaire. Shrimpers get to share their struggles on how imported shrimp from Ecuador, India, Indonesia, and Vietnam are driving local shrimpers out of business. We'll catch it, and it costs us with the regulations, the fuel, the diesels, uh, just operating costs, it's just so much more um, to have another country dump um, their shrimp on at less than half or even at a fraction of what it costs us to, to, to catch it. Um, it. It's just real frustrating there. And that's what's eating into any profitability. Reps for the Port Arthur Shrimpers Association say this questionnaire gives them hope. In a generation from now that they'll still be proud fishermen sa uh, sailing out of our ports of Port Arthur as it being passed and bringing home and harvesting fresh wild caught gulf shrimp. The questionnaire is due July 26th. Head to our website, 12newsnow.com, for a link to fill it out. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.